Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another tutorial room sysadmin102 In uh, today's video, I will show you how to set up the DNS over TLS on Opsyn with the next DNS So next DNS, I uh, think it's as uh, Python, but it's on the cloud and uh, they will do all the updating for the other block list you just have to uh, select which one uh, that you want to use uh, the benefit of next dns is that you can set up on your router existing router it doesn't have to be uh, up sync as well as you can set it up on individual device you can download like for example on iphone you can download the apps and you can set the password for parent control on that apps and then want it enable you're able to filter out the traffic for that uh, individual iPhone even though it's not connected to your home network let's say your child is using public Wi-Fi or on the uh, LTE 5G whatnot it's still gonna be filtered through uh, next DNS so regardless if they at home or not uh, you still have some what uh, parent control over what they uh, able to see or not and what traffic going through their cell phone so it's a good tool for parent control but um, if you don't use this for parent control, you can use this for other purposes like blocking uh, advertising or the annoying pop-up ads, uh, which is rig as well. Uh, so next DNS, the pricing is uh, free if you uh, have like under 300,000 uh, query per month. If you went over that, uh, it basically just uh, disable at that point. It uh, Everything resumes back to normal. It's not filtering out any traffic. Uh, and for the pro for personal or family use uh, that like $20 per year and um, if you do decide uh, purchasing uh, the next DNS and you want to support my channel uh, please use the affiliated link so that's why I get some uh, commission from next DNS alright and with that like I started uh, and I'll be including the link to my uh, blog uh, so you can follow along if you um, you know I'm like watching my video uh, and if you are my uh, returning viewer thank you for your support and if you are my new viewer make sure you subscribe uh, to my channel and let's get started so on Upsense you would go to uh, services and under uh, unbound DNS you will select uh, DNS over TLS so right here I already have it set up to my uh, next DNS but when you uh, set up yours you're gonna click on the add icon and then you will skip the domain the only thing we require the server IP the server port number and the uh, verify CN so when you log in your next DNS you would go to setting and then you select uh, routers it gives you a parameter to set up uh, for your router um, all we really need from here is the uh, server IP address number so these two are the IP uh, v4 make sure you add both of it uh, one at the backup one one at the primary one and one the backup and likewise the other one uh, the other two is uh, the IP v6 make sure you add them as well and then for the um, verify CN that would be the URL so the URL you can uh, copy it on the setting page uh, DNS over TLS is already provided to you the only thing is if you want to add it in your router name you will put your router name and then dash the uh, the ID for your uh, next DNS and then dot DNS dot next DNS dot IO so I'm gonna do one example for you so let's say we're gonna add this uh, primary IPv4 we're gonna copy that one and paste it in there. A53. I'm gonna copy the DNS over TOS for the verify CN. And if you wanna add in your uh, the name of your router, you don't have to, but this is uh, for um, make it easier to uh, filtering uh, or identifying like all the logging packagings where it came from, whatnot. So in this case, I'm gonna name it the uh, Opsyn router there we go 
And if you wanna yield the space, typically I just keep it uh, all together. But if you wanna space, you would use uh, two dash dash. That will create a space. All right. And that's it. If you're done, just hit the uh, save. And then obviously you will repeat the same step for the rest of the IPv4 and as well as the IPv6. And after that, it should be good to go. Uh, and if it's good, when you have to uh, lock, it will show that, uh, you know, a few seconds ago, here we go, it uh, actually synced with the next DNS. And as uh, you see, I can filter out by the name of the device and how I set it up. Uh, and you see right here, I can set it up to individual device. So anywhere I go, that device is still linked to the next DNS. It will be using next DNS, DNS server uh, versus using the DNS uh, that it got from the uh, network provider. And uh, with next DNS, some of the uh, setting that I recommended for you to turn it on, that um, threat intelligent feed and then AI driven uh, track detections, Google set browsing, crypto jacking rotations, DNA rebinding rotations, uh, IDN homo rep attack rotations, uh, table quadding rotations, and uh, DGA rotations. But uh, and then on the bottom one, uh, same same thing. If you want, you can select a uh, block child sexual abuse material. Uh, here's are the block list that I use. These are the one that I found it uh, pretty effective and it not like breaking my internet. Uh, keep in mind if you enable the uh, block list, make sure that enable one at a time because you enable multiple. It might break the website that you want to access. If that's the case, you would uh, you know ask that uh, blacklist whatever website that you get blocked by the block list you can add it into Y domain. Keep in mind that when you add the domain, any subdomain under it will be a Y list as well. Here you have some option. Lock the this guy third party tracker. And here we have parent control. You can uh, you know stop a uh, block a website, restricted access to for a website, game, Facebook, certain thing. Uh, you can set a restricted mode for YouTube. Uh, there's a lot of options uh, that you can use. And then if it's not uh, under the block list, but you want to block certain website that you don't want your employee or your kid to access, you can use the deny list and manually add that domain into it. And uh, it has like the analytic, basically your dashboard, tell you how many qu query it is, how many it block, what website it block, what website it allow. And here is the locking. Uh, basically, it's just a log of whatever um, all the device that you associated with your account. It um, every time it, it lock every time it uh, query uh, a website. And here the lock. You have an option to keep the lock, uh, and you have an option to you know uh, enable the IP address. Uh, I normally use the name, so that's why that I don't expose my IP address. And you can lock the domain. Uh, you can choose the length, how long you want to retain it. It either uh, one hour, but up to two years. Uh, storage location is where the lock gonna be storing at. Uh, I select uh, Switzerland because it have the strongest uh, RIVEC law. But uh, European Union should be fine as well. But option is your. And here you have a few more options. I recommend it using a C name flattening. And lastly, you have the option to uh, delete all the data uh, if you no longer want to use uh, next DNS. And with that being said, that concluded for today's tutorial. If you think the video is helpful, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.